All right. So now I have my base, I smoothed it out. That was a really big thing I should mention too, is after you get this in, I really want you to take care of that. Um, so before we start raising up the sides with coils, I have a bunch of pre-made coils here. Hopefully that's showing in the video. Uh, there's some over here too, I'll bring them in. And what we're gonna do is really just start working our way up the sides. So I'm gonna put this coil in, I'll just place it in first and then I'll go ahead and wet my hand to really mold it in there. But just laying it around the size of the bowl or the mold, cast, whatever you wanna call it. There we go. Now that's not in place yet. So I wanna take my water cup, wet my hand or fingers. I really wanna make sure that that's adhered and pressed down so we lose the look of the coils. That way people will have no idea. They'll be like, oh my God, you, you like threw that on a pottery wheel or something. That's kind of the look that we're going for in the long run. So here to the sides, I'm pressing down and towards the side of the plate. Uh, the moment that you feel your hand dry, and you will, you'll notice it. Uh, go back in, get a little bit more water. If you have too much water, it's gonna turn to like a pond, the clay gets too loose and it actually will kind of like fall apart. So really only add it when and as you need it. There we go. Question you might be asking yourself is, okay, yeah, this looks really nice on the inside. Like it's smoothed out and yada yada, but what does it look like on the other side of the bowl? Like the side up against the wall? And um, the answer to that is a hot mess. Um, at the end, when this pops out, then we do all the smoothening to the outside. But the better job you do now, the easier time you have in the long run. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one as well. We'll end the video right after I finish this. I think this will give you a pretty good explanation or gist of what to do. Uh, you're gonna be repeating this pro uh, process um, eight to 10 times probably to get this up the wall. And honestly, I think the trickiest one is this first one because you have to press both down and sideways. After this one, we're really just gonna lay on the sides. So I have this little gap here. Um, again, kind of like I did on my inner circle one as well. The best way to do that, in my opinion, size it up, break a little bit of a piece off, pop him in there or her, whatever your coil identifies as. And then go ahead, join that guy like that. Smooth it out though. Hopefully that way nobody can tell. Oh, hey man, you added a little extra part there. It'll be like, oh wow, so smooth. Boom. Pretty happy with that. You wanna keep the sides, you know, not too thin, not too thick like that right consistency, it's a little hard to get, but hopefully as long as your coils are around this size, I think you're in really good shape. I'll let you know, or you can ask me, you're like, hey, are these coils too thin? Or hey, are these coils too thick? I'll give you my honest opinion. All right, there we go. That's part one. Next thing I'm gonna do, I won't really show the whole thing in the video, but you're just gonna lay this next one up and you're going to rinse repeat as you work your way up the bowl. So get it to right here, like where the rivets are around the side of the bowl, and um, we'll touch base from there. I'll show you an updated photo when mine is complete. All right, guys, good luck, have fun.